15,000 boxers, over 32,000 matches, and one question, who is the greatest boxer of all time? By the end of this video, you won't just have an opinion, you'll have the numbers to back it up. So what kind of numbers are we talking about? You've probably heard of ELO if you follow chess or certain other sports. It's a system that ranks players based on performance, rewarding you more when you beat stronger opponents. Here's how it works. If a boxer beats a stronger opponent, they earn more ELO points. Beat a weaker one, you get fewer points. And as you climb higher, it becomes tougher to gain points. It's all about proving yourself against tougher competition. I actually got this idea from a guy who applied ELO to MMA, and he got it from someone who did it for F1 racing. So hey, if you're watching this, feel free to apply it to something like football. Just don't forget to credit me. Now the toughest part was gathering the data. Unlike the UFC, where everything is nicely packaged, boxing's history stretches back over a century, and there's no neat database. The best source is BoxRec. Turns out, there are over 1.27 million boxers listed on BoxRec. Insane, right? But since these IDs are chronological, I focused on scraping the older boxers. So if you're wondering why some modern names aren't here, that's why. But this data set should give us a solid picture of boxing's golden eras. Oh and BoxRec hates being scraped. I even had to complete some CAPTCHAs by hand. I used SQLite for storing all this data. It took me about four hours just to scrape through the first thousand boxers by their ID numbers. If you want me to keep working on this engine and gather more data on active boxers, leave a like. So, we've got the data. What's next? We calculate their ELO, find the highest peaks, and visualize it. Here's how it works. Every boxer starts with an initial rating of 1500. Why 1500? Well, I stole that from chess. Thanks, leeches. They fight. Their ratings go up or down, and we track who reaches the highest peaks. What we've built is a system that tracks the rise and fall of fighters throughout their careers. And now, we're going to dive into the top 10 boxers based on their peak ELO. Number 10, Thomas Hearns. Hearns reached his peak ELO of 2028 in 1992. Known for his devastating right hand and towering frame, Hearns is a six-time world champion in five weight divisions, a true force in the ring. Number nine, George Foreman. Foreman hit a peak ELO of 2043 in 1991. His career is unique. He didn't fight for a decade, only to return and win the heavyweight championship at age 45. Number eight, Muhammad Ali. Ali's peak ELO was 2044 in 1978, the people's champ the goat in the eyes of many, and for good reason. Imagine how much higher his rating could have been without those inactive years in his prime. Number seven, Mike Tyson. Tyson reached a peak of 2055 in 1996. The youngest heavyweight champion in history, Tyson's power and aggression were unmatched. And yes, even Ali gave him a nod. Tyson, like Ali, had a gap in his career, but for very different reasons. Number six, Evander Holyfield. Holyfield reached 2067 in 1998. He's actually ranked higher than Tyson in this system. Guess that ear-biting incident didn't hurt his ELO too much, huh? Number five, Willie Pep. Pep hit a peak of 2067 in 1952. Now we're going really old school. Known for his defensive genius, Pep had over 200 wins and is widely regarded as one of the best featherweights of all time. Number four, Larry Holmes. Holmes reached 2090 in 1985. Holmes is often hated for taking Ali's crown, but let's be real. Holmes was a phenomenal fighter in his own right. Number three, Manuel Ortiz. Ortiz's peak was 2093 in 1946. This guy is a true OG. His box rec ID is literally one. He's the only fighter on this list who started below 1500 ELO and even began his pro career with a loss. Talk about a comeback story. Number two, Sugar Ray Leonard. Sitting at number two with a peak ELO of 2101 is Sugar Ray Leonard. Speed, skill, charisma, Leonard had it all. Let me know in the comments if you think he should have been number one. Number one, Roberto Duran. Duran's peak ELO was an incredible 2134 in 1980. With 103 wins, 70 knockouts, and a career that spanned decades, Duran is nothing short of a legend. He even fought well into his 50s, truly an iron man of the sport. So there you have it. By the numbers, these are the top 10 greatest boxers of the golden era of boxing. If you want to dive deeper into the data and scripts behind these rankings, check out the Patreon page I've linked below.
You'll find the full data set and even access to the scraping script. Feel free to check it out or correct me if you think your favorite boxer should have made the cut. Chances are they started their career too late or they're just not that great. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more and follow along as I continue refining this boxing ELO engine. Until next time, peace.